and welcome back to Red Dead Redemption. Hey guys, uh, we're heading to Mexico in this episode. So, I don't know exactly how we're going to get there, because I'm... Yes, well, that's what makes you such an interesting fellow, Mr. Irish. <laughs> oh, Mr. Marston, I've come to wish you well. How are you, sir? I'm okay. It seems that our friend Mr. Irish here is well connected south of the border. Oh, it's true. Uh, they love me down there. It's like a second home. I've got more friends than you could shake a stick at, should you so desire. So you know the way. Oh, it's easy. We just get on me raft here and let the current sweep us away to paradise. Come on, then, Dobby. I'm not sure your idea of paradise and mine are quite the same, Irish. Relax. We'll have a great time and we'll find your man Williamson no bother. I hope so. Hey, come on now. Look at it this way. I know we ain't exactly old pals, but, you know, have I ever done you wrong? No. But not through lack of trying. Hey! Well, you boys have fun down there. I shall miss you, John Marston. Thank you. Where are you headed? Oh, me? Oh, uh, London or Paris or, uh, or maybe Peking. I'm a traveling man, sir. This land is much too small for the likes of me. <laughs> well, try not to get yourself killed. Oh, well, yes, we men of science are not a very loved bunch in this land of myth and superstition. I'm off to the civilized world where men like myself are revered and given medals. Ha! Hmm. Have fun. The same to you, sir. The same to you. <laughs> All right, guys, before we get started, I did unlock some uh, new stuff. Um... And I even got this right here, uh, the buffalo gun. It's, it's better than the sniper rifle, even though the sniper rifle has a better fire rating and uh, reload speed. And No. Uh, ammo count. But it's a lot more powerful and it has a lot more range. Um, I unlocked that by doing, um, these right here to get my Master Hunter rank 6. It says I gotta kill five, or skin five raccoons, five skunks, and five, uh, foxes. Now, I'm done with these off screen. Um, the treasure maps I'm gonna do separately. As soon as I get down here in Mexico, I should be able to come back up here for as my understanding is. So when I do that, I will uh, do them in a separate video, this one particular video. Um, yeah, so that's where we're standing at right now. So let's continue. Guys, you need to turn up for once, Irish. What do you mean? In usual fashion, you conveniently missed all the action of Fort Mercer. What can I say? I woke up with me head in a pair of pits, and it felt ill-mannered not to get reacquainted with him. At least you got your priorities straight. You know me, Johnny boy. I'll be late to me on the funeral. They say God invented whiskey to stop the Irish from ruling the world. Well, you're here now. I can't swim, you know. Me neither. But a current like this will carry you for miles. We'll end up on shore sooner or later. Look out, bandits! Hey, Help me up, Irish. We're sitting ducks here. Nora! 
that you are well connected. <laughs> so-called friends have nearly got me killed. I thought you said they loved you over here. They do. At least the lassies do. Oh, they have big brown eyes. They turn stone into butter, they would. And the Mexicans know how to make a bottle of liquor, too. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> now, there's a drink as would take the frost out of a frosty morning. Oh, you're gonna have some fun. I'm just here for Bill Williamson. Well, I'm glad to be back. This place is a wild devil's paradise. Apart from the fellas trying to kill you. Down here they call me El Rato. The cat. 
on account of myself and cunning. I'm pretty sure Ratto means rat, my friend. I like it, though. A little more inventive than Irish. Well, you Americans never were very creative with your use of language, but you John Marston. Damn more the sons of bitches! Fight that rock! You go to go and Aside from your friends who welcomed us on the way. Yes, I think so. <laughs> I was real drunk last time I was here, John. You know how it is. I, I, I 
met an American guy, uh, saw him shoot a man, drank with him in the village of Chuparosa. Funny guy. <laughs> uh, or was that Canada? No, that was Canada. Guy here, not funny, but he's real nice. Uh, failing that, you could try the provincial governor, uh, Colonel something or other, some Spanish name. He's based out of Escalera. Uh, played three-card stud with him. Uh, or was it four-card Monty? I forget. Uh, he was a real nice chap. Or maybe he was a real bastard. <laughs> I was real drunk last time, John. <laughs> well, thanks a lot for your help. Oh, let me guess. You gotta be on your way. <sighs> the famed hospitality isn't what it once was. And I've never been known to overstay me welcome. So off I go to greener pastures. Good luck, John. You're an angry and a fat ugly man. But not a bad one. <laughs> Look at the map, see where we're heading. Um, I'm gonna go here, I guess. snake. So where is he? Okay, let's lock for something. gonna blend in really good. Vice man gonna be mad. Okay, I don't hear him no more so yeah, I got a skin, uh, kill eight, and skin eight rattlesnakes. There's some snakes to get a uniform on lock. So, I'll try to get them as I go. I got 
like three or four of them already, so about halfway there on them. I'm gonna call my horse. I don't like this horse. Yeah. Seems like it runs out of stamina too. Should be almost there with that. Okay. Wow. Mexico's just spread out way too much. Come on. We're gonna shoot her. This what the fudge? Time. She can't do that to women. What the hell what kind of laws do you get down here? You know what? I need mm, nah, I don't need to skin the horses. I could just get a couple extra bucks, but I'm not hurting for that. That's for enough. I will when I go and find out how much money you need. Better I go. Hope that's a raccoon. Come on, let's get this over with. No, I'm running down. He. Ah. Come on. See what we got in here. Getting into. ¿Qué pasó con el otro? Y te fue un pastendejo de la casa. Y les digo, de aquí para acá, chingan a su madre. ¿Qué? 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 No, sir. Pardon, pero yo habla un solo poquito español. Poquito. <laughs> habla English? Oh, sí, gringo. Hablo mucho inglés. Sí. Hablo filthy fucking bean eater. Hablo 
Snoopy little Mexican, oh. I'm a little piece of cheese. Yeah. <laughs> Comprende, amigo? Comprende? <laughs> hey, what are you doing here, gringo? I don't remember inviting you to my country. I don't think you did, amigo. I mean, you know, huh? Is this a walking committee? <laughs> oh, boy, we got you no man here. You mean no harm? You. This is funny. <laughs> what harm? Could you do to us exactly? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing, Migo. Now I appreciate the welcome committee, but I'd hate to spoil a beautiful afternoon on such beautiful land with any further unpleasantries. Now, if you'll excuse me. Uh, holy Mingo, I think you're forgetting something. A little taxation. <laughs> <laughs> I have a large family. <laughs> I too have a family friend, so that we may see our families again, I suggest we part ways amicably. <laughs> oh no, touching the hat. <laughs> you're gonna die for that one. Can I see the boots, gringo? I think you can see them from where you're standing just fine, senor. Take off the boots, americano. As you wish. <laughs> Shot him in the gut, bend over, grab his hat. Hmm, nice. Oh, very good. Very good indeed, sir. What a great way to improve border relations. An illiterate farmer crossing the river coming into their civilization and butchering the local peasants. <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. Don't mention it, old man. You kill peasants, you become a peasant. I never aspired to be anything more. <laughs> a socialist, huh? No wonder you left America. How many things, most of them bad. All right. I'm going to pause it right here. I'll get back to you in the next episode.